When you see a problem and I'm asking you to factor it, and it has two terms, look for the difference of two squares or look for the sum or difference of two cubes. right? If you have a trinomial, look for you know, factoring how we do with trinomials. If you have more than four or more terms, look to factor by grouping. And remember what factoring by grouping is. We want to group our terms and then factor out the GCF separately. A lot of times they're already arranged the way we like them, but sometimes we need to rearrange them. But usually, just to start off, what we do is we just group the first two terms and then group the last two terms. And if we can't find anything in the GCF between those two terms, then we can rearrange the terms and group them. But now I need to say, all right, out of my first two terms, is there anything I can factor out? And you could say, yeah, you could factor out an A, correct? So by factor on an A, I'm now left with a C plus D. Then we look at the next term. And I say, what do these two share that I can factor out? Well, they both share a B, so I can factor out a positive B. And that's going to leave me with a C plus D. Now, what really grouping is, is you're kind of factoring out the GCF twice. You group the terms, so you factor out the GCF once. And then we notice, now I have two terms. And we need to look at this and say, do they share anything? Within, and you notice within the parentheses, they both have the C plus D. So now I can factor out C plus D. And that's now going to leave me with A plus B. And then that is going to be your factored form. Cool.